what's going on with YouTube? Welcome back to the clothing guide, the Hoxton Trend. Right, gang, in today's video, what I'm gonna do is a real quick video. It's the monthly designer collection video. A lot of my older followers from back in the day that would remember every month I used to do this video called Monthly Designer Collection, where I get a whole bunch of items in um, and basically show it to you guys. So I haven't been doing this series in a long while. I've been super busy, obviously, with the YouTube channel, social media, um, there's so much stuff going on behind the scenes, partnering with a lot of brands to create content and also concentrating big time on the website as well. But I've got a few items in that I want to share, um, share with you. Uh, I've got a lot of Montclair bits. I know a lot of people have been asking me to get some Montclair in. They want to see Montclair reviews. So guys, without further ado, let's crack on with this monthly designer collection. Let's see what all these jackets behind me. Let's really see what they're all saying, yeah? Two seconds. So right guys, as I said, monthly designer collection video. I've got all these jackets here on the back of the rail. I'm gonna go through all of these items really quick and show them to you. So let's start with jacket number one. Right, so the first jacket I'm gonna show you is this Montclair piece right here. It's like a Montclair bomber jacket. It's got the um, limited edition patch that you can see on the arm right there. Remember, if you look in the um, pocket, you can always find the name of the jacket and you can see right there, you've got Montclair Timothy. I thought it was Thomas, but it's actually Timothy, okay? So yeah, really cool piece. Managed to source this one in. Haven't even worn it yet. Um, still got the tag somewhere on it. Boom, got the tags all, all labels right there. So yeah, I just really thought this was really nice. Just a nice kind of bomber jacket, MA1 bomber style jacket. This is a size four, so size four for Montclair is like a large, which is gonna be about a 42 inch t chest. Roughly. Also, usually I'm a size three, but I did get a size four because I did like the way that this is just slightly, slightly big for me because it's like an oversized fit, and I know that kind of style is in at the moment. I think this was 750, something like that. Got the inside there, which is quite nice, and really nice green colour on the outside. Thick, chunky zips. We've got the Viz on the YKK, so we know we've got a lot of quality in there, yeah. So the next piece that I've got in only, um, I think last month or so, I got this in is this Neil Barrett um, sweat top. Um, this was on sale and I found I managed to find this from a retailer online. Now remember if you check out the hoxtontrend.com if you go into the sales section I've got lots of sales in there I did manage to get this for like almost like 40 45 percent off or something like that and remember every time I find like really cool sales and stuff online it goes straight to the website guys so remember to check it out because you'll find crazy deals like this. What I really liked about this is it's got the zips that you can see there going down on each of the sides and also the material of the sweatshirt is quite nice it's almost like a neoprene and material so it's a little bit fit and a little bit um, rigid looking forward to rocking that one yeah yeah the next piece that i got in is this lightweight Montclair jacket as you can see right there I've got the dark arm badge which is quite rare you don't really see too many of these it's in like a rubber um, star material. Boom, got the Montclair Road in there. Again, as we're moving into the um, into the beginning of autumn, you might want to pick up a lightweight piece. You might not want something too heavy because what tends to happen is the weather's a bit funny. It's a bit cold, it's a bit warm. So you don't want a jacket that's going to be too, too hot just yet because it might be a bit much. So that is the Montclair Roland. Right, right. One of my favorite pickups from this year and I actually picked this up way back in, I think it was February, January, February, March or something like that. But I picked this up directly from Canada Goose. Wow, this jacket feels so nice. It feels really, really warm. I mean, for Canada Goose, when it comes to winter jackets, you can't really go wrong with Canada Goose. Uh, I did rock this earlier on in the year when it was a little bit cold and it was it was just so comfortable, man. It was just so nice. Really feeling the, the graphite print work and the material on the front. Now, this is water resistant. It's not waterproof, but um, if, the, if the rain does go in, it does tend to wash off. But if it's too heavy, if the rain is too heavy, then it could, it, it does sit on the jacket a little bit, but it, it, it's nothing to worry about. The quality of this is really good. If you look at the pockets on the inside, they are um, fleeced. So if it's wet outside or if it's cold, you put your hands inside the pocket and it simply warms it up, which is really nice. Um, on the inside, it comes with the hologram. Canada Goose started coming with all the holograms that you can see in there. I have seen fakes with holograms. The holograms are not very well done. If you want to legit check any Canada Goose item jump onto canadagoose.com look for their email address and you can send them any pictures and they can do four legit checks for you that's a really good service and i think more brands should actually offer that service all right moving on to the next one we can see i've got this piece here this is a montclair renewable um ski gelet. i've never actually had um well i can't remember now i might have done i don't think i've had a montclair Grenoble ski vest i've had a normal montclair mainline ski vest in fact i've had quite a few again as you're moving into the early autumn this is going to be really nice you don't want to layer up too much you might want to wear like a jumper underneath 
and then you can have this um, gelated layer over the top and it, trust me, even wearing it now, it's really warm. The Global range is more of Montclair's technical range. Uh, it's a lot of this stuff is actually for dealing with more kind of like extreme weather conditions and stuff like that. In saying that though, I don't think this jacket is waterproof. In fact, a lot of Montclair jackets are not waterproof or water resistant, which, which is a shame. If you're gonna find um, waterproof or water resistant Montclair jackets, it's usually in the Grenoble range. So check out the Grenoble range if you're looking for stuff like that. I can't actually remember if I've showed this one to you already. I might have done, but I can't remember. But this is almost like a um, camo, um, it's almost like a Montclair Moran in camo, but it's not. The name of this jacket is Moran, Moran Dearies. Moran Dearies? Moran Dearies. I don't know, man. I don't know what that says. But what I do know is it was 970 and um, double XL size right there. Really comfortable piece. As you can see, it's camo as well, and there's not too many um, camo Moncler jackets. So when I do see a camo Moncler jacket, I do get really excited. I do actually have the um, overshirt version of this in camo as well, but I, I totally forgot to bring it with me. So yeah. But anyway, I'll show that to you another time. But um, yeah, really nice. It's got a really kind of nice quilt patch to it, which is a little bit different. It's very warm. It's got down insulation on the inside, and I'm pretty sure they're using. Uh, Montclair is still using the cartoon on the inside and obviously now Montclair are using their own authentication system so they're not using the Certi logo anymore. This one right here is the hologram of the badge, okay? So if you go to code.monclair.com, if you put this little code just beneath the hologram bar, you can just about see it beneath the hologram bar there. If you put that code into code.monclair.com, then it will tell you if your jacket is genuine or not, okay? Um, another jacket that I've got in, again, I've got this one probably around March time, April, something like that. Um, really nice Montclair piece with the wool on the front and on the lower part of the jacket. And the rest of the jacket, you can see there, it is quilted. This is called the Montclair Brel. Really like this one, man. This is such a nice piece. You can see on the back there, you've got the wool on the back of the jacket. And you've got the wool there. I mean, come winter time, this is going to be so nice to wear. You've got the hood that you can see there. That can come off if you don't want to wear it. So that's a nice touch. All right, Montclair arm badge. Not too bad. Right, now this is a piece that I actually sourced. This is a rare Montclair jacket. Now, funny thing was, a guy messaged me, asking if I actually, uh, he, showed, he sent me a picture of some celebrity, I don't know who it was, but he was wearing the blue version of the jacket. And he asked me if I've ever had this jacket or if I know what the jacket is. And I, I said to him, funny, I've actually got one in my collection. Now, this is, uh, this is to sell. This is not for me, quite a rare piece. Um, I have actually had this jacket in a black, and I've had it in the blue in the past. I, I wish I kept it now because they were so nice and they're quite rare. You don't really see these um, these pieces around anymore. This one I'm going to be putting on my Depop, so check out my Depop. I'm going to be opening a retail store online really soon, which is going to be so cool. So I'm going to be selling a lot of the bits that I get on there. I'm going to be selling. Um, it's just going to be a really dope store. So I'm not going to let you guys know the name yet. I'm just finishing up some touches on it, but that's going to be released before the Christmas. So make sure you check that out, yeah? Yeah, that makes sense. Right, so moving on to the next jacket. I've um, got a Canada Goose, which I'm gonna show you real quick. This one I'm actually selling, so you're gonna find this on my Depop. This is called a Silker Jacket. And believe me when I say this jacket is so warm, man. It's really nice, really comfortable, very warm. Again, water resistant on the outside of the jacket. Windproof as well, so when you do this up and you put this all the way to the top like that, Trust me, man, you're gonna be feeling super warm. It's also got the hood on there. Once you put the hood on, it's like all done up, then it is super warm, man, so yeah. Canada Goose jackets are really expensive, but if you can manage to get one, even if you manage to source one secondhand for a little bit cheaper on eBay or something like that, then yeah, you're, you're, you, you've got a jacket for life, man, for real. And it comes with a lifetime guarantee as well, so if there's any issues, Canada Goose can always look into that, but it has to be a product fault. It can't be a fault that you've made, yeah? Right, moving on to the final piece, which I've actually sold on Depop, is this Montclair Canoe. Now, I'm actually meant to send this off yesterday, but I thought, you know what, I really wanted to share this jacket with you guys, because it is so, so nice. Now, the Montclair Canoe, it's a bit of a limited jacket. It's really hard to get. It's, it's, as far as I'm aware, it's not available to pick up any, anymore, unless you're looking on eBay or Depop or something like that. What I like about this particular Montclair Canoe is this one has this kind of ski vest inlay that you can see here, and also it has the um, wool 
colour, which is very rare. Not a lot of the Montclair colleagues have that, so that's something which is quite rare. Also, this jacket is a little bit thicker as well, so it's a lot more warmer than the Montclair, the normal Montclair canoe. This print, the Montclair canoe doesn't usually come with a print, but I managed to get one with a print on it, and trust me, um, this Montclair canoe is probably one of the warmest jackets I've had. And um, what I like about it is you can have it just like that, it looks really smart. Extra protection doubles it up and bam. You can, I can feel like the warmth of this jacket already. It's very, very comfortable. So yeah, that's the um, that's the Montclair canoe. Bam! So that's all the jackets, guys. That's all the jackets for um, this month's monthly designer collection. Hopefully next month I'll try and do some more. I'm going to be getting a whole bunch of jackets in to start trading again. Um, I used to do a lot of trading back in back in the day, but I've just been so fixed with like the YouTube and the website and a bunch of other things. But I do want to get back into trading because it's a lot of fun. So um, monthly designer collection. Hopefully we'll have some more for you next month. Okay. So guys, please, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to share and let your friends know about the channel. I've got lots more coming, so make sure you stay tuned, okay? This is I'm Out of Here Gang, more of these coming, peace out.